we're going to make a histogram from this data and they want five different intervals. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make a new table. Make it look like this. The bins, the frequency, and the intervals. Okay, so the first thing, we know the intervals. If they want five intervals, you look at the data, you look at the lowest value of about 16,000 and the highest about 90,000. So if they want five, let's see, it would be... Roughly, the first one would be 0 through 20,000. Let's get that in there, right? So it's four zeros. So the, the, the intervals are going to be 20,000 apiece. So the next one is going to be 2001 to 4,000. Give me a second. Let me go ahead and type those in. Ta -da. So there's my intervals. Very important. The bin number is the last value of the interval. So this first one... It's going to be 20,000. Next one is 40,000. Boom. There's my bins. All right. So here comes magic time. So what you do is you go to the frequency column. You click and drag to one past your last digit up there. You go back up to the function bar. You click into it. You hit it equals. Type in frequency and it the, the, um, the function will show up. Click on that. And it, if you look at it, it tells you what to do. So the first thing it's looking for is the data array. So you just click and hold all your data there. Put your comma in. Your second one, it's, it's your bins array. That's this number right here. Click that. Close parentheses. Very important here. This is where it gets weird. you got to hit Shift, Control, Enter. Shift, Control, Enter. Shift, Control, Enter. Ta -da! And it automatically counts them for you. So in other words, there's three of these numbers that are in this range. There's five that are in this range, etc., etc. So now we're going to turn this into a, an official histogram. So hold on one second. Okay, let me scooch this over a little bit. Scooching. All right, so here's the data that I want to put into my histogram. I'm simply going to go ahead and put that into insert as a bar graph. Where's my bar graph? And I'll just take a regular bar graph. Now this is not the histogram. Very important. Okay. This is still a bar graph. Let me move it around so we can see it here. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on it. We need to change these values down here. These values need to be, um, these interval values, okay? So let me try to get it all on the same screen. I apologize. Please hold. Mm, 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 mm. It kind of looks like it's all on the same screen. All right, so what we do is click on these, right-click. We're going to go to Select Data. We're going to change this range here, right? We don't want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We want 0 to 20,000, 2,001 to 40,000, etc. So just click Edit, and then drag your intervals. Click OK. Boom. So now this is almost a histogram. What we have to do is we have to take these columns and we have to widen them so they're touching. So just pick a column, any column, double click it, and then you're going to get this formatting box. Let me move it back into the screen here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we're going to click on that one. And we want the gap width to basically be zero. It kind of smushes them all in there. Boom. And it, you could you could probably make the the gap just less than less than zero or a little bit greater than zero because I I'm having difficulty seeing which column is which so I'm just going to smudge it up a little bit boom so I will call that my histogram that's it MGZ out.